What's up guys, c 13 here, and today we're gonna be unboxing the Zero Breeze Portable Air Conditioner. So before I get into the unboxing, I just really quickly wanna go over exactly what the Zero Breeze is and how significant it really is. The Zero Breeze isn't just an evaporative cooler or a swamp cooler or one of those systems that uses evaporative cooling technology. It isn't even a uh, Peltier or thermoelectric cooler technology. This is true vapor compression. This has got a built-in uh, compressor uh, and it uses R134A refrigerant. So this is a true AC right here. And yet it's in a package that's only 14 pounds. So this was a project on both Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Now the company has surpassed its goal. I think the goal was initially $100,000 and they raised well over five, dollars $600,000. And there have, have been some issues with shipping delays and manufacturing and production delays. But in conclusion, I do want to stress just how significant this product really is. And it is something that hasn't been on the market before. I haven't seen anything like this. To have true AC technology in a package this size and this light is truly significant. So with that being said, let's get into the unboxing and see what the Zero Breeze is like. Alrighty guys, so obviously this is going to be a bigger unboxing than usual. As you can see here, it barely fits into frame. Now this is the box that it came in from eBay where I bought this. I've already opened it up because if I was trying to do that with the camera, it would just block the whole view. Now, quick point about this. I picked this up on eBay and the seller was asking $855. That is $5 less than the perk on Indiegogo and it also had free shipping, which is if you go through Indiegogo and you buy it direct from Zero Breeze, the shipping with this setup is $140. So I would say I did got a pretty good deal here. And of course, I got very quick prompt delivery. If you order through Zero Breeze, with the shipping delays they're experiencing with production issues, it could end up being a month at minimum. So anyway, let's get into this. Enough talking. Here's the Zero Breeze unit itself. I'm gonna put that over here. Grab the two batteries. And again, you know, they tout how lightweight the Zero Breeze is, but when you add all the stuff together, <laughs> this box is pretty heavy. I'd say it's maybe 50, 60 pounds. All right. So we've got our two smart batteries over here. And then of course we got the Zero Breeze. Now, if there's one thing I can say I like about this product, I liked before I ever even considered buying it, was the fact that I saw that the battery was a separate unit. Now in the, in the world that we live in where every device has to have an integrated, you know, sealed in, glued together battery, I really do appreciate that at least, even if the batteries are expensive and separate, they are separate, which means the air conditioner itself is not done when the battery is done. So I appreciate that. And I appreciate that the AC can operate on its own, doesn't have any super ridiculous sensors that says, oh, well, you're using the, the wrong, you know, you don't have the battery hooked up, so you can't operate the air conditioner. So I, I do appreciate that. So I'm gonna adjust the camera. Hopefully you can see now the top of the box. We're gonna open the Zero Breeze first, then we're gonna open the batteries, and then we're gonna see how they all play together. Again, when I bought this on eBay, it was an unopened setup. And so I don't actually know what color this comes in because I remember in the beginning of production, uh, and even now I think, even though all the promotional material shows blue, they come in two colors, orange and blue. So I don't know which one this is, and I don't think the seller knew either. I'm kind of hoping for blue, because I like that one a little better, but honestly, they both look real nice. So I'm going to try to lift directly out. Nope, we're going to have to tip it. OK. 
Okay, now we're gonna be doing the big reveal. What color is it? It's blue. There you go. Well, that, that makes me happy, actually. <laughs> All right. So there it is. And it really is pretty light, you know? It, the unit itself, I mean, yeah, you don't want to have to carry this around everywhere you go, but it's, it's 14 pounds. What can you say? And, of course, that doesn't include the battery, so here's the Zero Breeze. There you go. We'll put that aside here. We'll look at that in a minute. Here's your instruction manual, okay? Here's your exhaust hose. Again, very important to keep hold of this and your drain hose for indoor use because uh, without exhausting that hot air, you're just heating up whatever space you're in. So, very important. Here is your wall power brick with the wall adapter, as you see. And of course, here's your 12 volt cable with extended open ends there for you to attach to whatever connection you want. Now obviously, it would be best if they had left a cigarette lighter connection on there. However, obviously, this, this could potentially blow a fuse in a lot of different cars depending on how many amps your you know, cigarette lighter circuit is. So it's understandable why they may have left this as an option to hook up to whatever end you want. But you can you know, splice this into a cigarette or a 12 volt lighter port and you get power right off of there for your 12 volt use. Again, this runs off of 12 volts DC, which is great, which means you can power this off of this, you can power it off the AC adapter, or you can power it off the included, in this case, battery. But that's that. You got your exhaust hose here, which is just a nice uh, silicone rubber, which is nice. But yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and open up one of the batteries here. No need to do both because they're both the same thing, but we'll do that. And then we'll, we'll go through the first start and operation of the Zero Breeze, as well as some of the overview of the features. So these batteries, I, honestly, I wasn't initially planning on getting the batteries because, you know, I was, the battery's kind of expensive and you can just power it off of a 12 volt battery and an inverter and so, or even just a 12 volt battery directly. So it, it didn't necessarily make sense to get one. But then, you know, the more I thought about it, oh, maybe that'd be useful. And then when I saw that deal on eBay, I knew I had to get it. So, here we go. There's the battery and the box. That's it. Okay. Battery has your little instruction manual. Now, from a previous video I'd seen on YouTube, uh, yeah, this thing is... <laughs> This thing has some decent chinglish in here, but we'll look at that later. Okay, here you go. Here's the battery. Your specs on the back here is your max voltage charge. So your max charge level is going to be 12.6 volts. Your running voltage is obviously 12 volts, 12 volt battery. It is a 43 amp hour, 477 watt hour. So definitely not approved for the FAA in order to uh, fly on a commercial aircraft. So uh, the limit's 100 watt hours. Here you have your operating range temperatures from freezing to 140 Fahrenheit. And obviously it can be charged with the adapter because the adapter can take 110 to 220. So it works in a variety of places. This is about 7.6 pounds, so almost 8 pounds. And yeah. Now on the side here it gives you your caution, your warning. Obviously it's a lithium battery. Don't puncture it. You know, Don't do any dumb stuff with it. Uh, here you have your contacts on the, t on the front here and the way they work is there is a spring-loaded cover to prevent them from shorting out but when you set the Zero Breeze on top the spring-loaded cover will drop down revealing the contacts. Now I do believe this locks into place on the Zero Breeze as well but I could be wrong so we're gonna find out afterwards when we look at the unit. Over here you have your charging port, which is that same four prong connector that's on the back of the Zero Breeze itself. And then other than that, you have your power button in the front that allows you to check your power level. And then if you press and hold, it will turn the battery on. Now I don't know if you can hear that, but that's just the fan running in the background. Pretty quiet, all things considered. Considering this thing has a extremely high output, I'm not too, I'm not too upset about there being a fan. Okay, 
Now that we've got a battery and the Zero Breeze, let's quickly go over some of the features of the Zero Breeze. Of course, first of all, you have your control panel here. It features your power button, your fan speed button, and your compressor switch. Those are your cooling and fan controls. Below that, you have your light, your play button, your Bluetooth, your, your track skipping buttons, and your volume control. And by using this latch, you can pop up your Bluetooth speaker, which also reveals charging ports on either side. To retract the speaker assembly, just pull back on this and press it down to latch. Now on the front here, you have your ring, which is your LED ring. You have your vents here, which of course we're going to remove this sticker. There you go. And you have your manually controlled louvers here. On the bottom here, you have a tab uh, sticker cover to cover up the battery contacts. And that's what you're seeing there. Now if you look at the side here, you can see that you've got a little door. And what this is, is a filter for both your condensers in the back, for the, your left side, there are two condensers, and also for your evaporator up here. And although it's not the world's finest filter, uh, it's pretty comparable to what you're going to find on any sort of air conditioning unit that isn't a dedicated central AC system. So again, better than nothing, and if you really wanted to, if it really bothered you, you could definitely rig up some sort of filter material in the back here. There's plenty of room. Just do know that if you do that, it probably will drop down the efficiency just a little bit because you will be restricting the airflow. If you look at the other side, you have another filter here. On this side, you've got your squirrel cage fan, which is your actual blower fan. And then in the back, you've got your condenser fan, which exhausts hot air through here. So you've got another filter on this side as well. And then if we look at the back here, you have your condensate drip connection here, which is to connect your drip hose. And then of course, you've got your power input and then here's your condenser fan. And of course, here, with this tab, right here, this locking tab, you can lock in your exhaust hose. Just get it lined up on the bottom and pop it into place. And then of course, you can extend this out and exhaust hot air. If you wanna disconnect it, just reverse the process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing plugged in and we'll go through some of the features and then as well, eventually, we will test the battery. So give me a second. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I got the AC adapter plugged into the wall. Got my Zero Breeze here. We're gonna plug this in in the back. Now this connector is a four prong connector, but it has a keyway in it right there, which means it can only go in one way. So you'll never put this in incorrectly. And uh, because I'm not going to be moving this around at all, I'm not going to screw on the connector because we're going to try hooking this up to the battery to see how it charges in just a second. But for now, we're going to run on AC power. Let's move it back just a little bit here. So we've been over this. Here's your control panel. And uh, to turn this thing on, you're going to press and hold. When the panel illuminates, you're now in standby mode. You can use all of your, your Bluetooth speaker controls as well as your light. And of course, your light has both a standard mode and if you press and hold, you've got your emergency mode here which is a blinking red light. I really do like it. The light is a very nice, it's, it's almost neutral white, not quite, but it's definitely not super, super blue tinted and I do like that a lot. I, there's nothing I hate more than super, super blue spectrum LEDs because they're just very harsh in the eyes and at night, they're just not comfortable to look at. Okay, well that's enough. Now how do we get into AC mode? Well, you gotta press the button just once again and when I do this short press, the compressor will automatically kick on and the fan will default to medium. As you can hear, it's now running. I'm going to open my louvers up here. We've now got cold air coming out the front. And let's go ahead and get a temperature reading. So the surrounding air in the room 
it's around 74 degrees. I'm reading here on my infrared thermometer. Now if we get a reading of our vent temperature, I'm already getting 65 degrees. And remember, this thing has been on for less than two minutes. That's pretty impressive. If we check our exhaust temperature, we get an exhaust temperature of 82 degrees. So it is, in fact, working like an air conditioner, which is all air conditioners, true air conditioners, are basically heat pumps. It's removing heat and sending it out the back. And it is, in fact, working. Now, of course, you have your fan speed control here. You can turn the fan up there, and then one more press brings it down to the lowest mode. Now, of course, the compressor and compressor fan noise do drown out the slight change in the blower fan. But overall, this thing really isn't that loud. I'm able to have a conversation. It's not a very uncomfortable or annoying noise. It's a very light drone. And again, it's still incredibly portable. The louvers make directing the air super easy. And of course, you've got your drain in the rear, right here, to connect your drain hose and drain out the condensation. So that's pretty much it. But now let's go ahead and test out the battery. So I'll go ahead and shut it off. It's now in standby mode. You can hear the compressor fan. The condenser fan is still going to run to cool the system down for a little bit. If I hold it down again, it should now shut off completely. And we're going to wait for it to shut off. When it stops blowing, I'll go ahead and unplug it. And then we'll try out the battery. Okay, there it is. Now let's go ahead and try out the battery. Alrighty guys, so here's the battery. I did make sure to charge this up. It comes with about 60% charge, but I charged it all the way up just for this test. Just place it down, just like that. Now, again, it doesn't actually lock in place, which is a little disappointing to me because again, that means I can't just carry it around with the battery attached. And that again is really disappointing because I think it makes a lot more sense for the battery to clip on and be attached somehow so that if you want to go to move your air conditioner, you don't have to try and fumble and pick it up from the bottom. You can just pick up from here. So if I push the status button on the front, you can see our lights are illuminated. And if I push and hold again, the battery turns on and you can see our power button is now illuminated. So again, we'll press and hold to get into standby mode. Now you're in standby mode. Light works, and your Bluetooth speaker will function. But, of course, well, you want to see the main feature again, which is the AC. So now we're going to be running this air conditioner off of a battery, which is slated to last, according to Zero Breeze, five hours on medium fan. So here we go. <clears throat> Again, started, sounds exactly the same as running on AC power. I noticed zero fan difference, zero compressor speed difference. The air coming out the front is just as cold. We'll take measurements again. The room is reading 74 degrees. We're getting 65 from the front and an exhaust temperature of 83 degrees. Again, this is running entirely on battery power. Again, I, I love this. I know this is probably not gonna be something that a lot of people are gonna wanna shell out extra money for, but I can tell you that if you're in a situation where you're away from a plug and you don't want to or can't run a generator, this is a great option, especially if you're camping, you know, at night, you don't want to run a generator and make all that noise. Even if you've got an inverter generator, you know, you might want to hear more of the ambiance and, and that sort of thing, but you also still don't want to die of heat in your tent. Running off of a battery may be a great option. And then during the day, you can run your generator and charge up your batteries. So, again, the batteries are nice. Uh, I just do wish they were a little bit cheaper, but again, considering just how much how much lithium battery is in this battery pack. You come to appreciate that 
that the price is not that ridiculous. Another thing that I don't am not a huge fan of is this connector here. We'll see how good the uh, cover is, but it seems to fall off pretty easily. So I'll probably give you a better idea of, of uh, how annoying that might be in my review. But in conclusion, guys, this is the Zero Breeze. And I'm going to get to use this thing for the next week, the two weeks, and then I'll give you my honest opinion of it. Of course, I'm going to get tons of use out of this over the summer, going to various car events and that sort of thing. You'll probably see it at, any, at some of my coverage of the Ford Nationals in June. But nonetheless, I want to give myself at least a week or two when the heat really starts heating up around here and I get to take it a couple places and really get some use out of it to give you my honest take on is this thing really worth the money. But so far, I am incredibly pleased with this. Uh, this is unlike any other product on the market because again, at this size, to have a fully function functioning vapor compression air conditioner is something that has ne never before been seen in a consumer product of this grade. Again, I'm sure there are some manufacturers in China that probably make some sort of mini refrigeration unit that you can probably use as a rudimentary AC, but never have they been put together in such a way, in such a nice, clean consumer product with very nice finishing. Considering this is a Kickstarter project, it started as a Kickstarter project, uh, there are not any ugly seams. The finishing is very nice on this thing. About the only thing I can complain about, just looking at it so far, is the fact that there's a little bit of play here and this kind of vibrates sometimes. But again, if it's locked down, there's no vibration. Everything else is very well put together. Um, and it even looks like it might be serviceable underneath because the screws are easy to get to. Nothing's glued together. And uh, you can probably see there's a little bit of condensation coming out the bottom there already. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, give me a like. If you have any questions, comments, or maybe your own experiences with the Zero Breeze, leave them below. And if you want to see more, including my full coverage on the Zero Breeze, my future reviews and videos. Alrighty, guys, I got the